Alexa, how you doing? I'm great, and you? Welcome to Fight Week. It's been uh, it's been a little bit since uh, you've been able to get in there. So you know, was was this? Um, you have a lot of anticipation for the, for this week, I guess, knowing that it's been such a long time since you fought. Yes, I'm so excited to be here again. I'm happy that it's happening finally. <laughs> how frustrating is that for you, I guess, as a fighter that you know, knowing you wanted to get back in there, but you couldn't do it sometimes for reasons beyond your control. Well, life's like that. Sometimes you have to um, recover for all those situations and just look look forward and doing your best, training every day, nonstop at the gym and just waiting for these opportunities. So so when a fight gets um, pulled out from under you like, like the last couple have been, I mean, how, how long does it take you to kind of mentally refocus? Do you have a few days where you just sit there and go, you know, man, I'm ready to get back in there and... How long does it take you, I guess, to, to stop being frustrated when something like that happens? Well, um, it was not frustration. It was just like a little sad, you know, when you wanted to show your skills, show everything you've been doing. But like I said, unfortunately, sometimes things don't go our way, but we have to be ready. I just were like, just a few minutes, like, damn it. But then, okay, let's get to the gym. <laughs> you've, um, you've had some time at Flyweight now. So how has the adjustment, I guess, been overall? I mean, are you fully accustomed to, to that weight class? And are you a lot happier in this division? Well, being honest, yes. I'm so, so happy to be Flyweight now. I, my body is saying thank you. Um, as I am getting older, of course, my body changed. And I think this is a very important new path. Um, you obviously had to pull out of this matchup, uh, I guess, last fall, uh, several months ago. When they called you and said they were going to rebook it, was there something about this matchup that you definitely wanted to to keep on the books and not have to think about a different opponent? Yes, well, I wanted to fight Jojo because we have a similar style. We are both good strikers, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a, a showcase of a striking clinic. Tell me a little bit more about what she brings to the table and, and, you know, I guess where she's dangerous. You mentioned her striking, but, um, and, you know, she's had some struggles the last few years, but where is she the most dangerous to you? Yeah, I know that she might not be in the best situation right now, but if you see her other fight, she's a really good athlete. Uh, she's a veteran. She has a lot of experience, and that's what I'm taking from that. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, Alex, so your last fight, obviously against a big up-and-comer, you know, everyone's hyping her up, saying she's the next big thing, and you went in there, you did your job, you got the job done. Do you think this is a step down in competition for you, or are you ready for whatever comes in there this Saturday? Can you repeat? Do you think this is a step down in competition for you this weekend, since your last fight? Since your last fight was such a big prospect, such a hyped up, they said she was the future, and you beat her decisively. Oh, no, no, no. I, I take every fight pretty serious. I know that every opponent, it's dangerous. Like I said, Jojo has a lot of experience on her game, on her record. She has more fights than me. And that's why I wanted to fight her. You know, fighting veterans is different to newcomers. So yeah, this is a very important fight. Also, she's um, number seven right now. Then that's what I want, you know, be climbing on the rankings. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.